What's going on guys, Biggs from Custom Offsets. Today we have an FTG for you guys. I brought Keaton, my boss, along. Um, yeah, let's let's get into it. If you guys need wheels, tires, and suspension, feel free to uh, run over, do some spins, twirls, go over to customoffsets.com and pick yourself up literally anything you need for a full build. Let's get into it. Okay, first up on the list, we have a 2016 Toyota Tundra on field, Triton 20 by 12 with a negative 43 offset, Nitto Ridge grapplers and a 35, 13 and a half, and a trail master suspension lift of seven inches. I've never heard of that before. What does that say, Yodaville? What does that mean? It's a Toyota. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Toyotaville, ooh. Interesting, I actually like that. So again, he did a suspension lift of seven inches and the suspension brand is Trailmaster. Uh, six inch with seven inch Icon OEM leaf packs, Icon 2.5 coilovers, Coach Builder shims and shackles, Bilstein extended 5125 shock, slight rubber full term, minor plastic trimming, front and rear fender with plastic. He has Alpha and Omega fabrication hood shield, Mammoth guards, fender cap liners, Morimoto rock light, lighting ops rock lights, light bars, rock lights, oh bottom bumper light bar, literally everything. Yep. This is a complete full build, oh, yeah. pretty much. Everything touched, is touched, yeah. Yep, touched every part of this truck. Um, I'm gonna assume that he's using this, yeah, it looks like he uses this for what it's meant to be used for, like mm -hmm. throughout the build. I don't really like the like you, spider webs. You don't like that. I mean, no. I'm not a huge fan of, the, I don't, of it either. I feel either. like it doesn't fit with the rest of his colors that they create. I also am not a huge fan of the fuel sticker on the inside of the wheel. Yeah, uh, that trend's slowly dying, I think. If not, it's probably dead. And during the time, it was cool. I mean, I might slap some on mine just to, you know, be like that. Yeah, but this, this truck's pretty nice built. It's a nice Tundra. It literally looks like he does what it's meant to be used for. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you ready to uh, rate this thing? Yep. Okay, three, two, one, seven. Uh, I'm gonna go with a seven because when I look at Tundras, I feel like this is the perfect build for a Tundra. Um, not a huge fan of the Tundras. I do like the Tacoma, um, but yeah, for what this is and how much he's put into it and what it looks like for the application, I think it's very well executed. Yeah, I actually really like Toyotas in general. The Tundra, Tacoma, um, I really like the Forerunners too. So I think Toyotas have a lot of great vehicles. I just think some of the stuff he did was a little too much. Like I said, the sticker on the wheel, I think different wheels than the fuel Tritons would help yeah. too. But I think honestly, like you said, just for how much he really did to it, it's tough to knock him too much just because he really thought about every single little piece and component Literally. of the truck. Right. So that's awesome. Hell yeah. All right, next up on the list, we have a 1987 Chevy Blazer on a Pro Comp Series 15 by 10 and a half negative 25 what are you offset. laughing at <laughs> you're laughing at 69 i thought you were laughing at the dick c -Pec. oh even better the dick c -Pec extreme country 35 12 and a half with a rough country suspension lift of four inches this thing's sick super clean it's super clean literally like when i see these trucks the dick c -Pecs, like literally scream this year like literally the suspension everything perfect for this generation of truck mm -hmm. but uh yeah this truck's pretty dope so yeah uh, not not a lot to go over for the details especially with suspension it's just what a two inch yep, spacer we, we have it. rear two inch spacers and that's no rubbing or scrubbing to be expected not too much and it's just the right amount i think yeah i agree should we rate it yep three two one nine, nine. why'd you pick a nine it's simple it fits the like time the year frame i guess of the truck it being you know a late 80s blazer i feel like throwing some of these new crazy giant you know yeah 24 by 14s would just make it feel a little out of place but oh, i think sure. that the setup he has fits it really well while letting you know that it's not just like a stock blazer yeah uh same for me it's super clean the only reason i gave it a nine not a ten i'm not a huge blazer guy in general so that's the reason why i knocked it but like literally i can't say enough that for this generation it's literally exactly how it should be. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one is a 2019 Ram 3500 with Cali Off-Road Summit 2212 and a negative 51. Cooper Discover STT Pro 37, 13 and a half in a BDS suspension. Suspension. Yeah, this is uh, this is Mega Cab. Yep. For sure. Massive. Literally looks like a school bus. Yeah, and for details, we have um, literally not much. It's the BDS suspension and a one, one inch coil spacer. Pretty much right now, just wheels and tires and suspension. 
which you can get from customoffsets.com. Yeah, it's pretty simple, but literally brand new truck. So I know that, that I can't afford that truck. So being able to throw a nice set of wheels and tires on it, like right out the gate is mm -hmm. pretty cool. Yeah, I actually like the wheels too a lot. Is this is the truck navy or is it black? I can't really tell. I'm gonna go with black. Black. Okay, yeah. I tend to like the black with chrome oh, or yeah. navy with chrome. I think that the all black is just like murdered out. Just it's just played out, and you just see so many yeah. trucks where I think with having like some of these newer trucks on the chrome wheels, it just fits some of the nice modest chrome touches they put on some of the newer trucks. Where I think you know in like the mid 2000s, Chevy Ford and Ram all got carried away with some of the chrome. Usually, I like to see these trucks color match. I think that the chrome in the front grille would look better black. I, I understand like, yes, it would be a little too much, but I think if you pick your accent colors right, maybe down the line, if he does the suspension components in like a certain color and the color matches it and ties it all in. But for what he did, it looks nice. I, I kind of like the low and wide um, look on these trucks. But yeah, I mean, very nice truck. I like the mud flaps too. Yeah? Yeah. All right, you ready to rate this thing? <laughs> yep. Three, two, one. Eight. eight. I chose eight because I think that if I was going to get a new truck, this would be something that I could see myself doing. I wouldn't want to do a crazy, you know, six or eight inch lift. I'd right. want to keep it more modest that I could yeah. drive it and use it, you know, a lot more. And also, I, I really like the wheel and tire setup he has. I think it looks good and it's still practical. It's very practical, yeah. especially he's using it in the snow. And here in Wisconsin, it's like six months out of the year is snow. So, yeah, no, it, yeah. I agree with you. Definitely like nitpicking a little bit, maybe color match some things but i don't like the stripe down the side i think if you ditch like the molding or whatever that's called but yeah for the wheel and tire package i'm assuming this is a daily driver you probably use this thing like it should be used mm -hmm. uh you got that little you got a little stance um but it's not like way out right. outside the fenders and yeah it's just it's a really well done daily driver type yep. build exactly oh, oh, oh. here we go all right, now we have a 2010 Ford F-150 on Archon Off-Road Crown Series Triumphs in a 2414 negative 81 offset. Nitto trail graps in a 37, 13 and a half and a McGoy suspension lift of six and a half. Rubs like crazy, but who cares? Yeah, for sure. There's no way yeah. it doesn't. Dude, this truck. Okay, before we literally get to, I mean, pretty much all he has done is wheels, tires, and suspension. But this is l exactly what my plans are for in the future for my truck. Yeah, I was gonna say, can we just take a minute to let you drool over this thing? Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of the color. I don't like the silver. I like my... I literally like my truck, but I want this setup on my truck. Literally 24, 14s. I probably would do a 35 inch tire with a six inch lift. So something a little smaller, but it's gonna resemble this a lot. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is literally what I want my truck. I, I think that I would probably do a black and milled setup first. And then if I'm like, ooh, let's do chrome. Mm -hmm. Like I got, you know, you know, a little spicy, I would throw yep. some chrome in there, mm -hmm. but Literally, the, I thought about getting these same exact wheels for my truck, and actually, I dig. I didn't think that I would like the look on this, on my like on Rainy's truck looks great. Right. On my truck, I didn't know how it looked, but mm -hmm. this thing is hot. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. I think the Triumphs. It depends on the body style a yeah. lot, and also what what else you do to the truck because they're just so out there that yeah. I think it has to fit the aesthetic of it. But they do, they, they're they like a showy Viper and I really like the look of my Viper on my truck right now. Mm -hmm. So I think that maybe I'm- Get maybe, that upgrade. Maybe I go for it. All right, you ready to rate this thing? Three, two, one, nine. Five. Five? Five. I, okay, so I'm not a big fan of the, this body style Fords. Really? Yeah. It's one of my favorites. I know. I, for whatever reason, just the grill and the lights. Also, I, that is a grill upgrade. I know it is. And, and I don't like that. Agreed. I don't, also do not like any of the Raptor style. I, fronts just I don't I don't like the big gaudy you know lettering I I don't disagree um the reason I rated it a nine is one not a big fan of silver two also not a big fan of the grill I think if you're like wide body kitting this you know doing a long travel suspension kit making it that pre-runner mm -hmm. build by all means throw a Raptor grill on there but like when you're trying to like go for a big show tire show wheel and tire setup it's just, I don't know. In my personal opinion, I, it just doesn't fit it as yeah, well. Yeah, it's like mixing two different worlds and right. it just feels. It just feels off. All right, next up on the list, we have a 1983 Chevy K10 with a full throttle FT-120 by 14 negative 76 offset wheel 
on Fury Off-Road Country Hunter MT 33 by 14 and a half and a fog suspension suspension. I hate that it does that. Lift of four inches. It's Fox suspension, suspension lift of four inches. Right. I like this thing. I think it's kind of the uh, opposite mindset of the Blazer we saw, yep. what, three trucks ago where you know, it's taking an older truck. But yeah, in this one, he's got what? What size are these wheels? Yeah, 20, 20 by 14. 20 by oh, yeah, 14. yeah, yeah. 20 Which by 14 is, fuel throttles. Oh, I, full did, throttles. I did not know that they, oh, that's interesting. Because I want to do a 24 14, but a 20 by 14 with a negative 76 offset. That looked dope. Yeah. Um, yeah, pretty much same thing. Just sure wheels, tires, suspension. It looks like he has some upgraded headlights and some like aftermarket things to spice up this 83 K10. Yeah, super clean for a 83. Yeah, and even if it's not clean, your pictures are showing us that it looks clean. Yeah, so that's I mean, it looks like on the body, the only thing that is yeah, it looks going like away it, is the front bumper. Yeah, it, it looks like it has maybe a little, but it looks like you drive it. And yeah. that's what I like to see. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm ready to rate this. Yep. Three, two, one, eight. eight. All right, you go ahead. Uh, yeah, just like I said before, um, it looks like he did some headlights and wheels tires. So like he's on the track to, you know, refreshing this and making it more of this time. So it's a good start and I, I like the way it looks. Yeah, I like it too. Uh, I think, you know, all things considered, I, I like what he did with it. Going back to what you were saying before, I tend to like the more, like how the guy um, built the Blazer. Yep. Um, you know, some bigger tires, more period correct uh, wheels instead of, you know, some hot brand new hot boys. Right. Um, but I think what he did with it is really good. I think, like we were saying, when it comes to these trucks, if you're gonna try to bring them into the modern age, just keep it simple or redo everything. You right. know, redo the headlights, taillights, right. bumpers, etc. Yeah, for sure. So I really like it. All right, well, that's what we got on uh, today's episode of From the Gallery. If you, again, need wheels, tires, suspension, accessories, literally everything that you need to build a truck on God's green earth, go to customoffsets.com. Um, and with that, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.